Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading uh, for Scorpio. We're going to take a look to see what you need to know regarding this full moon in Virgo that is occurring on March 18th, 2022. Yeah, so we're going to take a look at what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect, what's around you guys uh, during this time. Apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want, if there's more than one energy showing up in the read. Um, Feel free, uh, keep in mind that uh, these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Um, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Uh, share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Um, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Scorpio, let's get started. Tell me about Scorpio. What can Scorpio expect for this full moon in um Virgo, that's happening on March 18th, 2022. We'll pull some Oracle messages after two. All right, let's see what we have here. So, Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Seems like you're walking away from something here. So, I don't know if you're walking away from indecision. Or f I feel like you might be torn between two things or two people here. Or two a thing and a person. Yeah, it seems like you're torn whether you want to walk away from something or not. You have the Page of Cups. Uh, and Justice, Libra, um, Libra Energy, and Cap, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, Scorpio, it seems like you're really torn about something here. I feel like you don't know what to do. I feel like you don't know what to decide here. Now, this could be regarding, like, I don't know, this could be regarding work. This could be regarding a relationship here. You know, this could be uh, regarding making a decision between, you know, buying the bigger television or the smaller one. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. So um, for some of you guys, I feel like you guys might be getting over uh, some sort of financial setback here. Okay. Um, some of you guys might be overcoming insecurities too. Eight of Cups. You have the seven of wands here. You know, I feel like you're in this energy of protecting yourself right now. You know, I feel like there's also resistance here too. Someone here could be resisting walking away when they really should be walking away. Two of pentacles. You have the three of swords in the reverse. So Scorpio, I feel like you're getting over something here, okay? Something that was painful, something that was hurtful, something that made you feel alone here. So I feel like, you know, in a way, justice is being served, okay? I'm still getting a torn energy here. Someone here is torn between two things, Knight of Wands. And then we have the Seven of Swords here. Now, this could be your person that's torn, whether they want to leave something behind or come back towards you. But I don't know. Seems like we have, I mean, this is uh, the Seven of Swords is clarifying the uh, uh, Knight of uh, Wands here. I don't know if someone here is trying to sneak back in. Page of Cups. We have the Fool here. Aries energy also could be Aquarius energy here. Tell me about Justice. Oh, extra message here. Okay, we have 
two of wands and the ten of wands here. I mean, you could be releasing a lot of burdens here. Could be releasing karma, trauma here, okay? Um, you know, I still feel like there's an energy of feeling torn. So whether, so you could be, you know, like I said, torn between two people or two, uh, a thing in a person here. Whether to leave something behind or run off to be by yourself. Let's have a new beginning here on your own. What else does Scorpio need to know regarding this full moon in Virgo? Wow. Uh, everything came out in the reverse here. Nine of Swords and Temperance. Seems like there's an issue underlying issue that needs to be addressed that seems to be coming to the surface and the right thing to do is to heal from this but i feel like someone here is having a tough time struggling with that you know i feel like someone here wants someone here to suffer for what they've done to someone here but you know i feel like someone here is just relying on karmic justice but someone here is not doing the work to actually heal from the pain, the trauma that this person has put someone through here. Uh, Emperor in the reverse and the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. You might be dealing with a narcissistic individual here. This person might be sneaking back into your life. With the Two of Swords in the reverse and the Page of Swords in the reverse. So Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy, Aries energy, Sagittarius energy. Tell me about the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Kind of the Wheel of Fortune here. Temperance in the reverse. Someone here might be in this energy of being like eye for an eye sort of thing. Someone here might want to seek revenge on someone, I feel. I mean, I feel like if someone here is in this energy, you don't have to worry because the, you know, karma never misses someone's address or losing a, loses an address. The universe is always watching and never skips a beat. We have the four of cups here. Temperance. Seems like you, this is someone that you've been dealing with for a very long time. The emperor here in the reverse. It could be a parent and a child dynamic sort of thing. And the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Whatever is going on here, this is not a very happy situation. And this is a cycle that you've been in for a very, very, very long time. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh. You have the Moon here. Cancer, Pisces energy. Feeling like someone here doesn't want to deal with their shadow side, their shadow work here too. Two of swords in the reverse. And the ace of wands. Page of swords in the reverse. Seven of cups here. There's just... There's just a mass of confusion here. Okay, so the person that wants to come back towards someone here is this emperor to this empress. So Scorpio, you can place yourself where you see fit. Yeah, uh, you know, I find it hard to believe that this Empress was would be in this energy of wanting an eye for an eye, but you know, I feel like some of you guys might be into that, or that some of you guys are looking for revenge or seeking revenge here or trying to hurt someone back. But like I said, um, you know, karma never loses an address, so you don't have to worry. You, you basically don't have to do anything. Just sit back and watch, okay? Because I feel like whoever this is, this person has really hurt you. I feel like you've over overcome a lot of these, uh, you know, uh, challenges that you've been through with this individual. But I do feel like someone here is trying to sneak back in, okay? I feel like there's a karmic cycle that you've already cleared out here, but this karmic cycle might be coming back around. 
okay? You know, I feel like you're in this energy of definitely clearing here, clearing a lot of stuff, continuing to clear a lot of stuff. But we have someone that's pretty much the polar opposite. That's not doing what you're doing, okay? What else do we have here for Scorpio? What else do we have here for Scorpio? What else do we have here for Scorpio? We have rest and rejuvenation. Yeah, you know, don't worry. You know, if you're looking to get back at someone, I think the thing, the best thing that you could do for yourself is to just sit back and watch because, I mean, if you're looking to seek revenge on someone, you know, you know, you're actually inflicting karma on your own, uh, like, you know, on your own uh, that way. So let's just let the universe handle it. Yeah, a time for healing and a time to release negative energy here. There you are right here, Scorpio. Let's grab one more and then we'll finish it there. What else do we have here for Scorpio? Yeah, big happy changes are coming. Yeah, I wouldn't even worry about this person here because I'm getting like a polar opposite energy where one person is good with what they're at in life and then we have a, a miserable individual here, which is this emperor. Okay, so Scorpio, I hope this was uh, helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.